Okay, so Drew, uh, as a Steelers fan, I have to know, did you know that Najee was dealing with this Linz Frank injury in camp? No, I didn't have a clue. Yeah, I feel like it flew so under the radar, and I really only found out about it this week when he was asked about it, uh, which I, I I don't know if they're reporting that to the NFL or what, but at least now he doesn't have a Q next to his name. I, I guess I hear Linz Frank, and I think of guys who have had that injury before and have not come back in the best shape, the best conditioning. Does this hurt Najee in your mind going into the season? I don't think that knocks him. I mean, maybe a spot or two, but I, I wouldn't worry about it. That's not my concern with Najee Harris. <laughs> As a Steelers fan, I will tell you that we do not have the offensive line that we would like to see uh, blocking for him. We didn't last year and we still don't. That said, mm-hmm. yes, he was able to run behind it. Yes, he was successful behind it. I think he could have been a lot more successful and he would be again this year playing for almost any other team. I think he also loses Ben Roethlisberger who won probably moving to Trubisky is an upgrade, but Trubisky is not going to pepper him with 10 targets a game. Uh, This is true. So Najee right now at this point in time is going as the number eight pick in fantasy. When we mentioned a lot of the running backs in that first round, second round range have their own, individual question marks guys like joe mixon is that a more desirable pick for you than Najee? i have taken joe mixon over Najee in the league before um, andre swift i wouldn't take swift that early um i Kamara. still think Najee harris is a first round value Kamara and Najee, i see is about the same i wouldn't fault for taking either one first Okay, so uh, with Joe Mixon going nine, you're just kind of like flip-flopping their current ADP, but for the most part, you still look at Najee as worst case, he's the ninth guy off the board. So you're not yeah. dropping him dramatically. And it's, you mentioned the negatives with Najee. The positives, of course, are he's not coming off the field at all. He's a yeah. bona fide three-down running back. The hope for him is that he's going to be able to still have equal or potentially greater reception numbers than he did a year ago because the receptions were one of the things that really elevated him amongst his peers that made him a true running back one last year and surely ability wise Najee um, is not in danger of not being a running back one it's just going to be the players around him that are going to impact him the most this year uh, with the Steelers again with the volume being what it is uh, I don't see him dropping outside of running back one unless he's hurt there's yeah I I I agree with that yeah, the, like at, at worst, I think he'd be RB one and RB two borderline. But knowing he, that he's going with the Lens Frank, though, do do you look at his handcuffs? Do you look at guys like Benny Snell, who's on that roster, and have any interest in them? Benny Snell's been okay in spot duty when needed, but he's not reliable. I don't think that they would just feed him if Najee was out too. I think they would go to a committee. It looks I like Jalen just... Warren is their third back on the depth chart at this point okay then i i definitely think they would go to a committee i don't think any of them would be startable in fantasy football if not she goes down it may be as a flex if you're desperate well that's good because again it's just the type of injury lens frank i've seen so many guys they get that injury and it's just a repetitive nasty cycle it's nice to see that going in a week ahead of opening day that he doesn't have a Q even next to his name. That tells me that the Steelers are fully confident in his ability to step on the field and not be re-injured. A lot of work is going to be put on him, a lot of heavy lifting in the Steelers offense. So hopefully that doesn't re-aggravate this injury um, and that we have to hit the emergency button on Benny Snell or uh, Jalen Warren. Hopefully those guys can remain on the sidelines and Najee Harris owners can still be rewarded. Anyway, guys, did did you know about Najee's injury? Does that have any concerns for you? Are you just concerned about Najee Harris in general? Want to kind of like get a temperature check on Najee. Obviously, we're heading into draft season. You know, we've only got a week. We have a week to go before the start of the NFL season. So if you have any and any, I repeat, fantasy football questions, go ahead and leave below in the comments. Leave a like on this channel. Subscribe to the channel from Jew, Jew, Talk Sports, and Andrew Homan. Stay safe, happy, and healthy. We will see you next time.